catch 30 to catch it, trout over 30 inches. Catch 20, kill 14. Idea trying to catch trout over 30 inches. I was down at a small creek uh, in Phillipsburg, New Jersey with my daughter this morning throwing some small MEPS gold spinners. So this spot is about a hundred yards from where the low pack on Creek meets the Delaware they find the sewer treatment plant. Well, I'm thinking about trying to catch the monster trout at night, either with a muddler minnow on the fly rod or a jitter bug with a red headlamp, because apparently the trout can't see the red light. I don't know. I just read that from Field and Stream. So if that doesn't happen, I'll try in the morning monster trout from the Delaware. Here we go. This is the field and stream stuff I was looking about saying hula poppers were good. Dark glories. This is skull pins. So I lost my fly box on the south branch with all my bigger flies and actually better tide flies. These are kind of crap. Um, but I do have the jitter bug that they said acts like a mouse for the spinning rod. This hula popper with no tail yeah, but this jig could kind of be like, uh, they said black, and I've got that black of trout magnet. So which one do you think I should give a go to? I think you should go with this one. That's down at the bottom. You think I should do that? Yep. That's going to do it? It's going to do it. Should I bring the jitterbug just in case? Bring them all just in case. <laughs> <laughs> should, I bring, should I keep the fish? No. Release. I can't really tell by the video, but the uh, it actually is pretty light out. There's the one third moon. So it just turns out to be pretty light out. But um, when I was fishing with those those maps, I had a few follows with smaller stock trout, and there was a big fish that I thought was well over 20. So that's why I'm going on this uh, OCD journey in the middle of the night to try to get what I think is a huge brown. Um, here we are driving through the main streets of Peaberg. Um, I'm going to try to use the... Uh, this is the location where we're at. Going back, I'm going to watch another picture of the rod there. There's my headlamp. But when I get down there, it had rained, and it's right behind the sewage treatment plant, so the water was just really rushing. Um, wow. This is what it sounded like, actually. It's normally very quiet down there. So, with that much noise, the surface lure couldn't really hear anything. It's not like the silence that you get would normally get at well, night. I didn't have any luck. But um, it was pretty magical to be out there at night. You, there were some fireflies that were going over the water, and you could see the reflection on the water. But there was actually a lot more... Um, it was a lot more uh, water. It was it was uh, water was high and it was murky, so it wasn't exactly the perfect situation. But that's good for tomorrow. So it's the next morning. And uh, overslept. Anyway, I'm back on the road to go back over there, and I used a a big trout magnet Rapala and got a swipe. I couldn't tell if it was the big one or not. Then I broke down and went to Walmart and came back later in the day and I did catch the fish, um, but I caught it on a worm. I was there with my daughter again. She's only three and uh, the fish was nowhere near as big as I thought it was. I didn't even measure it, but uh, maybe 18. So my daughter touched the fish was, I, was that a big trout? Sometimes you get more excited about fish. Did you touch the big trout? No? It's so bad. 